going on? Hope y'all are having a dope ass day today. It's your boy Alex, and I'm back today with another reaction video with a fucking crooked ass camera. God damn it! Let's go. What the hell's going on? Been making hundreds and hundreds of videos, and I can't even get my damn camera straight. So today is gonna be really fucking awesome because we're gonna be reacting to a song that I never even knew existed. Today we're gonna be reacting to Apocalypta featuring Corey Taylor, a song called "I'm Not Jesus," something that I'm definitely not. Yeah, let's just not open that door. As you're wondering what the hell I'm shaking, it's protein drink. Trying to get swole. Tastes like dirt. Anyway, let's get it. I'm really excited for this. Gotta love Corey Taylor, and I have no idea who Apocalypta is, so today's gonna be really special. Anyway, let's get it. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. And I have a new idea where I wanna start giving stuff away. I still have a shit ton of like metal CDs and merchandise and a bunch of stuff uh, that are duplicates, and sometimes I just don't even really listen to hard copy CDs. So if I hit you up in Instagram or Twitter and I ask for your address with a winky face, don't think anything crazy is gonna happen, but you might get some free stuff. So there's that. Anyway, let's get it. I'm not just Jesus, let's go. Oh, I dirty like this already. Little secret, dirty little lies. See your prayers and comb your hair. See your soul and eyes. It's funky. Wow. 
That was fucking crazy, dude. Now let me explain. So I feel like everyone out there already knows, but I have to just show you guys that I know. This song was about Corey Taylor and his experience with the babysitter, the first time that he lost his virginity, I think, or just exposing this secret that never came to fruition before. I think when he was 11 or so, his babysitter did some sexual shit with him. He was sexually active from a very early age, way before 16. And this is kind of just a song about that. And you can tell from saying, do you remember me? I think he's talking to her. Now, do you remember me as we've both progressed from that weird dark time. A couple things saying Jesus wasn't there because it was such a disgusting thing that happened. This girl hooking up with like a young boy, really weird. And then Corey Taylor saying, I'm not Jesus, I will not forgive. Some things you just don't forgive. And no matter how hard you try, it seems like you can never forget at the very least. And I've, I've experienced that with some people in my life, even my family, really crazy. But for that message that Jesus wasn't there, it's interesting. I'm not gonna get on a soapbox and preach about stuff. I don't like pushing my religion. I don't even really know how religious I am, but it's interesting because a lot of times people will say that Jesus isn't in their life. Like, why isn't Jesus in my life? Because all this bad shit keeps happening to me. And that is what happens whenever you are given the freedom of choice, free will. Whenever you can decide for yourself, things get fucked up because people make decisions for you. The alternative is not having free will and have everything lined up for you. Everything, all the decisions already made. And that is some type of bullshit life that nobody wants to be a part of. So, I got some light shed on me yesterday, in fact, and just sharing what I learned with you guys. So, anyway, the song was fucking awesome. Love the cello and Corey Taylor combination. Absolutely unreal. Really fucking fun song to listen to. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did. And that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this on the screen, this video in general. That is all I got for you today. So keep smiling. Keep being yourself. Don't let anybody frustrate at you. I'll see you tomorrow. That's a motherfucking facto. Yeah. Peace.